Well, it's hard to believe that Saturday marks the Steelers' last game of the regular season at Acrisure Stadium. Pittsburgh is 15-2 in regular season home finales under Coach Tomlin, which is tied for the best record in the NFL since 2007. And for more on how the Steelers can break their three-game losing streak in the comforts of home, let's send it over to Bob and Coach for your keys to the game presented by your neighborhood Ford store. Guys. Missy, thanks very much. Let's talk about some of the things you're going to be doing on Saturday. It's the final home game. I'm sure people want you guys to get back on the schneid, and this is a great opportunity to do it against a team in your division you've already beaten. Uh, last week you guys talked about a lot of players, the urgency, the playoff factor involved here. I imagine that's even ramped up this week. Even more so, obviously, not only because of the global positioning perspective, but just simply it's AFC North football. Um, we have an opportunity to secure our second victory against a group that's defending divisional champs, and uh, we don't take that lightly. There's familiarity in these relationships. There's depth to these relationships, and so um, it is a significant game. The intensity of these games are always ramped up because of that familiarity, and I'm excited about watching our group uh, play at that level. Jake Browning is playing very good football right now. What do you have to do to stop him, at least contain him, in the pass game? we got to disrupt the normal flow of, of their assault and his assault. Um, and, and they do a really nice job of changing the launch point, rhythm passing and things of that nature, RPOs and things of that nature. And so they spend the dial some. Uh, it will require us to spend the dial some, which we did uh, the last time. I'd imagine it's going to be more of the same. And um, for us, um, we can't allow him to operate uh, in normalcy. And so we got to disrupt rhythm. Your running game last week was not what you wanted it to be. What do you do to get it back? Because that oftentimes springboards the passing game. You know, we got to control the line of scrimmage. Um, controlling the line of scrimmage is run game efficiency, but it's also just efficiency. Uh, we were penalized. I think we had five offensive penalties in the last game. And when you get behind the change, you get somewhat one dimensional. That's going to minimize your run game. That's going to get you in double pass mode oftentimes to minimize the, the component of possession and long. And so those are some of the things that happened last time that minimized our run game. Uh, our run game needs to be the component that it was the first time we played those guys in Cincinnati. And special teams, you guys play a lot of close games, it seems, with teams in your own division. We saw a block punt. You've had a lot of those this year. How significant will that be, given the fact you got two good kickers, too, on both sides of the ball? It's important, particularly in these divisional matchups. Uh, we had a block punt in Baltimore, for example, um, that, that changed the complexion of that game. Here, we had a block punt last week. Uh, they gave us a leg up from a stop standpoint. And so I've been really pleased with the development of our, our special teams unit, in particular our block units. They've given us a lot of production and, and a lot of positioning. All of those things are very important. Coach, all the best this week. Thank you.